what's up guys minimal tech here and this is the moto g it was released about two years ago it was a great phone water resistant front facing speaker 720p screen 13 megapixel camera right off the flagship the nexus 6 but the problem is motorola hasn't stated when it's going to release the nougat update for this phone it's apparently not releasing it at all well thanks to cyanogen mod we're going to get all the goodies from Nougat and much more thanks to Cyanogen Mod. Alright, so boot times are a lot faster. Funny story, I have a Moto X Pure Edition that was filming this. And the boot time takes forever. But with Nougat on the Moto G, and it has a low-end processor, everything's much faster and snappy. And it's just amazing. Alright, something I noticed right off the bat are app shortcuts. Um, like for example in the Google Now Launcher whenever you long press a Google app like the Play Store, YouTube or Google Drive you're gonna get those small app shortcuts that will take you to certain parts of the app and it's a lot faster uh, this only works with like YouTube and like any Google apps uh, unfortunately not system apps for or at least right now All right, up next we have multi-window. Now, multi-window is a great feature, and surprisingly, with the low-end Snapdragon 400 series processor that the Moto G has, it runs really smooth. Like, as you can see in this footage, you know, shopping between Amazon and eBay, it's actually pretty smooth, you know? every It doesn't bog down like you, you would think with only 2 gigs of RAM and a Snapdragon 410, I believe it is. It, it doesn't bog down, it's actually pretty decently fast. Alrighty, up next, those stock OEM features you get from the stock ROM, stock Motorola ROM are all here. You get the tw double twist to capture. Uh, another thing to note here is, considering this is a custom ROM and it's Nougat, most ROMs you were, you're not going to get like a camera that actually works or a video camera for, for for saying that but surprisingly everything works here you know you get the double twist to chop um, I'll put up some some images at the end of the video of how the camera is with the nougat update and performance all around has just been really fast you know uh, a, a lot faster than the Moto X surprisingly uh, my Moto X is currently running uh, marshmallow I'm waiting for the OTA because I kind of don't want to flash a custom ROM right now but performance has been really good. Everything's been really fast on the Moto G. And it's honestly faster than phones running with the Snapdragon 810, 800 series processor. Everything's just running amazingly well. And I'm very happy with the results. Thank you, Cyanogen Mod, which is now dead, sadly. But you can still download and flash this ROM thanks to XDA forums. So if you have a Moto G, I would recommend flashing this. You won't regret it. You're going to love it. Everything works. I've had no issues so far with it, and I'll leave a link. I'll leave the link below in the description to the XDA forums to where I got it. And yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'll talk to you guys in the next one, and stay tuned for more tech videos coming up soon. I'm Minimal Tech, and I'm out.